So, I just released three games in a row and all three of them got over 100,000 visits. Thanks to everyone who played them, by the way. So I was thinking, why not share my tips with everyone and try and help you all out on your rooms in the future? That being said, let's get into my tips for making popular games in Rec Room. My first tip is to add leaderboards into your game. This might seem pretty dumb and simple, but trust me, it helps. There are people that will sit there for hours or even days in your room just to get that number one spot on the leaderboard. Especially with the new update with Rec Room putting the leaderboard stats on the homepage for your game, there has never been a better time to add some leaderboards into your game. This second tip is a bit more confusing, but stay with me. You want to give people a good sense of progression in your game. This won't work with every game, but if you have the right game that works with it, then this can boost it into the atmosphere. So, what do I mean by progression? Basically, you want to give people something to work towards. Letting people show this off to other people can also help you get more playtime. Here's just a few examples that I've used in my games. Name plates that you can earn by playing. Currency that you can earn as you play and spend at a shop. Getting faster and jumping higher as you upgrade your stats and punching people harder by upgrading your stats. Okay, but what if you've already released your game? Well, there's still quite a lot that you can do. First, you're going to want to make events. Events are pretty much the backbone of promoting your game. Unless your game is on the top of the new page or the hot page, pretty much no one is going to see it. So how do you get people to join your game in the first place? Events, of course. This is how you do them properly. First, you just make the event and invite all your friends to it. Then, ask them to invite their friends and presto, you might have a full event. Just one thing, do not spam invite your friends list. I know that it can be tempting just to click the invite button a few more times, but it would just cause people to message you and yell at you to stop. I'd say that once every 15 minutes is an absolute maximum. Alright, you've made a few events, but what if your room doesn't seem to be getting anywhere? Well, you might just want to hire a promoter. This is a touchy subject. Some people absolutely hate promoters because they don't actually work on the room, and other people hire every promoter that they see. Regardless of your opinion, I'm going to give you a few guidelines that you should follow to make sure that you're getting what's fair and no one copies your room. Number one, I shouldn't have to say this, but do not give the promoter ownership of the room. Make sure that someone who actually made the room owns it. This is especially true if you don't know the promoter, because otherwise they can just kick you off as co-owner and take the room for themselves. Number two, make sure that the creators get more earnings than the promoters. I've had some people offering to give me 80% of earnings just to promote their game and just don't do it. Something that a lot of small creators don't do is actually value their work. You might not think it yet, but your time has value and you should just not be giving away all that percentage just because someone has a lot of subscribers. Number three, speaking of subscribers, they don't really matter when it comes to promotion. Well, kinda. Let me explain. You obviously want someone who has a lot of experience to promote your room, and subscribers can be a great indicator of that. But other than that, they don't really matter. A lot of people have a bunch of subscribers, but they're inactive and don't see their announcements or play their games. A better way to find a good promoter is to look at their past few games and see the amount of visits that each of them has. Make sure that you're looking at the Rooms tab rather than the Room Showcase, because most people just put their most popular rooms in the Room Showcase, which isn't the best indicator of their average room. And number four, the most important tip I can give you, Please just pick someone that you actually like. It might seem obvious, but if you don't have good chemistry with your promoter, then you won't have fun. And at the end of the day, that's what really matters. Just don't add a million promoters to your rooms. It won't get you anywhere. Oh, hey there, it's the end of the video. If you like this video, then leave a like. And if you want to see more, then subscribe to the channel. And check out this video right here if you want to see more tricks on how to be a Rec Room creator. One more thing. I promise to put this message at the end of the video, so here you go. Welcome everyone, make sure to like and subscribe and squish it. Oh, watch this, I'm gonna make it, ready? <laughs> if, you, and if you're a fan of Perry the Platypus, make sure you like it. Perry the Platypus best, don't judge him!